three, two, one. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio operator KE0OG, and we're talking about antennas for the next several videos. This is the summer of antennas. Now, in order to properly test these antennas, I needed an antenna test rig, something where I could raise an antenna up off the ground and then test it, see how it works, lower it to the ground for any adjustments and take it back up again. So I have that set up behind me. It consists of uh, two 20 foot tall poles with appropriate pulleys and everything on them. And the poles are what are called chain link fence top rail. It's the rail that goes along the top. And they're 10 feet long and they've got a little uh, bit that's a little bit smaller so it'll f they fit into each other. So I've got two to get to the 20 feet at each end. And then each has three guy ropes holding it down. And then I have put a pulley arrangement on each one of those that can raise and lower the antenna very, very quickly for any testing and, and cinch it up real tight so it, it does a good job. So what I want to show you in a few pictures here is what I've got, how I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm going to start with this little cartoon right here. Okay, here's a very conceptual idea of what is going on here. Each of these is a pole, 20 feet high. There's pulley here at about 4 feet high and a pulley at the top. Pulley here, 4 feet high, pulley at the top. So you grab the pulley here, raise this end, and then grab this pulley, raise this end. Now the reason for this pulley is to pull the antenna itself tight. Let's see how it works in the animation. Okay, you can see over on the left, pulling up the antenna to the top via the pulley. And then over on the right, now I'm pulling the pulley up with the pulleys. Okay, so the pulleys are over here and they pull this up to the top and then you can pull on this rope to get the antenna itself, get that wire very, very taut. And uh, I built it up as I'm going to show you in um, show you in this little video. You'll see the actual pieces, and I'll show some pictures of how the thing works. Okay, let me tell you where we are right now. I've put up two ends, an end over there on the sort of the northwest corner. And I've put up an end or tower over here on the southwest corner. Now, what these are, are two pieces of chain link fence top rail that have been slipped one into another. Then my wife held them up while I put them on the guy post. Let's go take a closer look at the guy post. Yeah, there's a couple things going up on there. There's one, two, three guys coming down. Second, there's a little pulley, and the pulley comes down here to right there where there's another pulley. So I've got a rope loop in there just like a flagpole. I can raise that end of the antenna up to right there, and it goes across here to the start of the antenna. Now these, each of these guys comes down to earth. Okay, each of those is a, a two-foot steel stake that's driven oh well more than a foot into the ground and then the guy wire is wrapped around it. It can easily be removed. Okay, this stake is the most important because it contains the entire brunt of the weight of the antenna itself which you can see goes off in that direction over there uh, to the other one. This uh, guy rope was purchased online specifically to be guy rope so it's black it doesn't stretch much and it's UV resistant. 
Okay, so the net result of that is that we've got a great uh, way to get the antennas up in the air and test them in a very repeatable fashion. They'll go in exactly the same position, so that way we can get some kind of uh, results that we can compare. Again, I'm not a lab and I don't have things set up to test antennas via whisper or anything like that. But I do have uh, my butternut vertical, which uh, is perfectly operational. And uh, behind me I've got a 40 meter dipole that I made myself. That's the subject of the next video, how I made that for very little money. And then we'll test some of those MFJ antennas too. One point of physics to keep in mind, this is very important, and that is no vertical or horizontal single element wire uh, can perform better than a dipole. Now there's a one exception to that that we're going to test and that is essentially two dipoles end to end and that actually is a form of uh, a directed array that's different from just an ordinary dipole. But this dipole that I have up here behind me, which I made myself, uh, performs extremely well. Had uh, good QSOs last night. Uh, and my vertical, which is uh, off over there, uh, also performs extremely well. I've got lots of radials for it, so I was very pleased with both of them. So, a couple things to take a look at. Please, if you would, click like and also subscribe and when you subscribe after you subscribe click the bell so that you get notification of future videos this really helps spread the word about these videos because YouTube looks at the likes and the subscribes and so on in deciding uh, what what videos to recommend to people and uh, I'm just extremely grateful for the growth that I've seen in the channel I'm over 24,000 subscribers and what that means is I'm able to answer questions for new hams in a lot bigger variety of situations also, if you would, take a look at the tip jar and take a look at uh, the Patreon page. is patreon.com slash ke0og. And they're a little different. Um, and I'll point out that last night I spent uh, several hundred dollars on a little better sound equipment than this cheap thing I've got right here. My main microphone I've had for several years, it's gone kaput. And so I had to get some uh, new stuff. That's the kind of thing that I use the tip money for and the Patreon money. And I say to all of you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. So until we next meet, when we're going to look at that dipole, 73.